Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. Today we're looking at 25 different keychain tools. Now in this video, you're gonna see a lot of keychain tools that I like, actually the vast majority of these, but there are a few that I actually don't recommend and obviously I'll explain to you why. At the end of this video, I'm gonna share with you a keychain tool that you should absolutely have on your keychain or somewhere in your car accessible and I really think everybody should own one of these. So let's jump into it. This is our first tool. This is the Exotech Nano Striker XL. It was originally that green color, but I've just used it so much that it's worn all the color off. But basically, it's a fire steel that you can carry on your keychain. So you untwist this. Here's your fire steel. When this is all used up, this can twist off, and you can replace that. So that's nice. It's threaded on the end there. Put this back together. When you want to use the fire steel, you're going to take off this end piece, which is your striker. Take the other two sections, put them together. Now you have your fire steel with a nice basically handle to hold on to, and then you have your striker here, and I'll show you on camera that it does actually work. So I carry this with me at all times. It's nice to have a fire starting option always with you, and then because I'm out doing reviews, often I need a fire steel to test the spine of a knife or something, so I've always got one with me. Price point for this is about 30 bucks, a little bit more expensive than some of the other items, but a lifelong investment to have a quality product like this. And again, because you can replace the fire steel, that's actually pretty nice. So item number one. Next up here, we have the Night Eyes Inca, I-N-K-A. So you can just pop the bottom out and use the pen in the compact form, or you can untwist this section. And then basically you're going to untwist the top and then basically re-thread this into here like so. And now you basically have a full size pen. You pop this little cap back into the bottom and now you've got most much closer to a full size pen. So cool product there, gonna run you about 11 bucks. Nice to have a pen with you at all times. That's, that's the Night Eyes Inca. Just as a little bonus here, I wanna mention this pen. This is the Tech Pen, T-E-C. And I had one of these on a keychain for a long time and then it fell off and I just lost it. I really like this. This is magnetic, so it's not like it's threaded so it can come loose, but um, you put a little split ring on there and attach it to your keychain. I had one of these for a long time and it worked really well. So definitely recommend this as well as a keychain pen option. Next up is this, which is the minute key or minute key. I think it's minute key, but I picked this up at Lowe's, less than 10 bucks. You can see you got a couple different wrenches there. That little hole at the top is where you're gonna put your split ring through. A very small ruler, bottle opener, and then a line cutter there. And then obviously you can use the end of this as a, uh, you know, to cut open boxes and also as a, um, flathead screwdriver as well. So simple little tool, very lightweight, and less than 10 bucks, maybe something you wanna throw into your keychain. Next up here, we have an item from Night Eyes. It's gonna run you about six or seven bucks. This is called the Cinch -a -Lot. Very cool product because you have a locking S-beaner here, so you attach that to your gear, your keychain, whatever. But then here, you basically can put an item in and then cinch this down. So you can put maybe some earbuds in there. Um, you can put your um, your ear pods, if you have those, you know, with the little case, you can put that in there and then cinch this down. You want to be careful, obviously, you know, it's that it's nice and snug. It wouldn't be swinging this thing around, but cool way to carry, you know, a couple items in there, maybe one item in there, cinch this down. And now it's, uh, with this rubber elastic, it's going to be basically tight enough that those, uh, those items should stay in place. Now, obviously I wouldn't carry this, uh, Exotech lighter like this, but just to show you, that's what it looks like. And this thing, I mean, that's not falling out. There's no way that this thing is just going to come slipping out randomly. It's going to have to be, you know, really swung around aggressively. So really cool little item. Like I said, six bucks from Night Eyes. This is something I carry all through the spring, summer, and fall. It's called the Ticked Off. It's basically a tick scoop. You can see that tiny little cutout there. That's how you get a tick off of like your dog or even yourself. And then you put a little carabiner through that. These run like maybe four bucks, super cheap, but great to have these with you rather than trying to get a pair of tweezers or pliers or something like that to uh, remove a tick. So highly recommend you have one of these on your keychain, on your bag, just somewhere accessible in the warmer weather if you have ticks around. Next up, we have this, which is the Exotac Fire Sleeve. So basically, this is going to carry your lighter. Open this up, and you can see I've got a lighter inside. It's basically a way to protect your lighter to keep it from uh, accidentally getting hit and losing the uh, fluid inside. I would recommend that you basically run some cordage through there and then through the bottom section. And then you can also put your, uh, your split ring here if you want to attach it to your keychain. So you can carry a lighter around with you at all times. This is the orange one, obviously. I do have one in black as well, and then it comes in a glow-in-the-dark version as well. This next one, honestly, I don't even remember where I got it. Um, some company sent it to me at one point. It's a cool carabiner with a bunch of tools built in, so I'll put a link down below, as is true for all these other items. You have a little uh, line cutter. You have a bottle opener. You can see you got some wrenches here. Obviously, the carabiner as well. Phillips head screwdriver there. 
You have another little driver there, kind of a pry section here. Um, yeah, I mean, just it's a simple tool. They're not they're not super expensive from what I remember. And uh, yeah, just kind of a cool item to carry your keys on. You can put your split ring through there, and then it's got a bunch of tools actually built in as well. One thing I'll note is you get all your different wrench sizes here, and then they have a 12 here, so you could also use that as a wrench as well. So just a kind of a slick carabiner tool all in one. All right, next up here is a personal alarm, and there's a lot of different versions of this out there. They're gonna run 10 to 15 bucks. Um, you can see this one's got kind of a little robot face. That's, I can't even remember the company I got it from because so many other companies have basically copied this design. But heads up, this is gonna be loud as I uh, pull the alarm and you're gonna hear it. So a personal alarm, you can throw that on a keychain. You know, you could throw it in a purse for a woman. And uh, yeah, just a, a great way to get attention in case somebody's trying to do you harm, you can let other people know you're in a bad situation. As far as the noise level coming out, you're looking at probably 130 decibels, give or take, depending on which one of these you pick up. But simple little item that could help keep you safe. Next up here, we have the New Myth Toe Hill Lighter. Got this from Going Gear. It's gonna run you around 30 bucks. Very compact lighter. I can tell you that I put lighter fluid this in this thing a long, long time ago, and you can see it'll still light. There we go. I mean, this thing has not been, I've not messed with this thing in months and months, and it's still burning. I gotta pull the wick up a little bit. You can see the flame is small, but still very impressive how uh, well it keeps the uh, lighter fluid and uh, nice looking. They have this in uh, this color and I've seen it in black as well. Next up, we've got this, which is from Travax. This is the Link Lanyard. We also have the Link Stretch Lanyard, which I'll show you in a minute. But essentially, you're gonna you know, clip this onto your, uh, your belt loop and then put your keys down here. The nice thing about it is it's QD. So press in on this button and you can take the keys off. And then when you wanna put them back on, just press on the button, hold it down. Basically, just gotta push over the little uh, kind of ball bearing system in there. And now it's hooked back up. So a nice way to control your keys. Let me show you the Link Stretch Lanyard, which is right here. So basically the same thing, uh, but just with this kind of stretchy um, cordage material and same concept. So you can, I took the uh, split ring off this one, but you can pop it off, use it, and then, you know, basically put it back on. These are not cheap. Uh, the, the one I showed you first, the link lanyard is going to be about 50 bucks and this is about 54. They do come in a couple different colors from Travex, US company, everything USA made. So it's definitely an investment, but yeah, cool item to carry your keys. All right, next up, we have the CRKT Eaton tool. As you can see, we've got like a spoon here, kind of a fork end, bottle opener, some wrenches as well. They do make a longer version, which basically has like a, a full stem here, like a normal spork or fork. But uh, I keep one of these in my car. Every once in a while, I'll be out and, you know, like I'll be traveling with my wife and she'll have yogurt that she wants to eat. And then all of a sudden she'll be like, oh, I forgot a spoon and I've got one of these. So they're going to run you about 10 bucks. So they do come in a couple different colors. They have one that's more compact that um basically just has the kind of, it's a little bit straighter as opposed to rounder, the fork or spork end, but a simple little tool you can carry on your keychain. All right, let's talk multi-tools. This is the Leatherman Squirt PS4. Let me show you all the tools it comes with. All right, so here's all your tools. Obviously you have your pliers, you got some wire cutters, you got a very small flathead. You do have a larger flathead. You have a bottle opener, some scissors, a knife, a file, and you can use some of these things in multiple ways. Obviously like the file could be used to strike your fire steel. You do have a little um, keychain or split ring here so you can attach it to your keychain. These are great tools. Leatherman makes awesome products, and this one is definitely one of them. This also fits really nicely in an Altoids tin if you want to do something like that. Uh, this is going to run you about 35 bucks. I do have, well, let me see, another Leatherman there. I've got a SOG keychain tool, and then I've got a Gerber one as well. I would say this is probably one of my favorites. Um, the juice is bigger. It's a little bit too big for most people to carry on a, um, on a keychain. This is generally considered keychain size by most people. All right, here's a look at the first item I do not recommend. So I got this because I thought, oh, it's kind of cool. It's got a magnet, a very strong magnet in it, and you can basically attach it you know, to the side of your fridge and then have your keys hanging off it. But um, you can see the magnet is very strong. It is so strong that it just gets caught up on like everything that's metal around it. So I don't imagine it's actually gonna be super helpful because like even this, you can see the split ring comes flipping over there. So, you know, imagine this is stuck to the side of your fridge and your keys are just like getting all weird and maybe you put it in your pocket and your keys are getting all jumbled up. I just think the concept is cool for organization, but the magnet is just so strong. It's like, it's kind of a hassle to have around. Every time I put it on the, uh, on the table here, it would start messing around with my, uh, my layout. So wouldn't recommend it. Concept is cool. Just magnet is too strong. 
Next multi-tool we have here is the SOG Snippet. Let me show you the tools that come with this. So let's talk about the tools. You have a flathead screwdriver. You could use that to pry a little bit. You got this little hook here with a file on the back. You got some tweezers, obviously your scissors. You do have a small um, ruler that's built into the handle. I'll show you that in a second. Um, you'd have a bottle opener here, a very small um, flathead screwdriver. Then you got a toothpick over here, which you could also use if you need to get into like a small space to like reset something on a computer. And then a blade as well. It does come with a pocket clip. We just put the tools away here and then show you the actual scissors. I mean, scissor, scissors are a great thing to have. A lot of people like a knife. I do as well, but scissors do function differently. So this is basically how they work. And I have used them and they do work well. So there's that. And then you can see here, like I said, you can put this end to end and you've got a, uh, got a ruler. So that's a SOG snippet. Going to run you about 30 bucks. And uh, yeah, cool tool. This one has a special place in my heart. Somebody picked up my original review of the Gerber Shard like probably seven years ago and put it on their website and all of a sudden I had all these views and I was like, what happened? But somebody liked my review and liked the product so they shared it and that helped me get a bunch of subscribers. So um, I'm relatively convinced this was like a piece of metal that fell on the floor. Somebody messed around with it, you know, over at the Gerber factory and created this. Runs you about seven bucks, but you got a bottle opener, you got a, two flathead screwdrivers. You got sort of, I mean, you could call this like a, um, you know, piece of rope or cordage cutter. You got to really sharpen that up. Mine is totally dull. Put your um, split ring through there. You do have a Phillips head screwdriver as well. And then it can pry as well. I had this, I mean, you could see it's worn. Had this on my keychain for a long time. It's a simple little item, but definitely quite usable as a, uh, as a keychain tool. Okay, this is the Gerber clutch. From my research, this is actually discontinued, but you can find it out there a little bit now and again, you know, on eBay or some other stores that may have some leftovers. Gonna run you less than 10 bucks. The Gerber dime is also a very popular one that kind of replaced this one, I think. But my favorite thing about this is just how small the tip of the pliers are because it really allows you to, to grab onto things that are, you know, really compact as opposed to big clunky pliers. You can see on the backside here, when you close them up, you've got kind of, you know, when you're doing that, very small work and then something maybe a little bit larger. They are spring loaded. Some people do like that. Some people don't like that. I do prefer that actually for my uh, my multi tools. As you can see, compact, you can throw it onto a keychain. And then here's a look at your tools. So obviously you got your blade, you got some uh, flathead, Phillips head screwdriver, a really small one. You got a file, bottle opener, another screwdriver over here. So yeah, this is a, a slick little item. I think I might've gotten this in a battle box a while ago. But very compact, and um, the dime is also a great option as well. Uh, but this is a this is one of my favorites from Gerber as far as their multi tool, the Gerber Clutch. This is the Leatherman style PS. The reason I got this is because it is TSA friendly, so you can carry this with you onto a plane. Uh, Leatherman makes awesome products. So you've got your bottle opener and also your little car carabiner there. You do have your your pliers there, and they do have a, a wire cutter option down kind of toward the uh, bottom of the pliers. You do have, let me see right here, you got some tweezers that are built in. Let's see if I can take these out. There we go. Tweezers that are built in, run run along the side here. And then you got a file and a flathead screwdriver. And then you can see we have a pair of scissors as well. Okay, this tiny little blade right here is the Spyderco Bug. It's 3CR for the steel. 15 to 20 bucks. You can get it in kind of the, um, the silver version or you can get it in this black version as well. You can see the little hole there to put a, uh, a split ring through. Just great to have a compact little knife on your uh, on your keychain. This is one I like. This is also one that I've been carrying for a while. This is actually made by Claris, and um, it's gonna run you probably closer to 20 bucks, but it does have a surgical steel, extremely sharp blade there, and uh, it's extremely small and lightweight, so that's nice. So close it up, and then we just run it on your keychain. So two very simple, but functional, lightweight uh, blade options that you can carry on your keychain. This is the Swiss Tech Utility Key. I carried this for a long time. You can see how grimy it is. Very simple item. I've actually cut myself with this, so be careful. It does come quite sharp. Um, Phillips head screwdriver, very small flathead, small flathead, serrated edge, plain edge. Flip it to the back here. I think that's pretty much all the tools. And then basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your split ring, or your, yeah, your split ring through there and then close this up and then you can attach it to your uh, keychain. These run probably, you know, less than 10 bucks in most places that I've seen. You can pick them up at Lowe's and places like that. But simple, simple tool, but definitely does a nice job as far as some of those basic cuts that you might need to cut open a package, cut some strings, something like that. All right, this is from Keysmart. This is one of the touchless tools that they make. Uh, these are out from a variety of different companies, but the idea is basically you can use this to like hook onto a doorknob and pull without touching it, or you can also use it you know, to press against things by holding it like this. You got a little bit of jimping there, but it's lightweight. You put your, 
you know, attach it to your keychain right here. And then, uh, yeah, you keep your hands off of things that may be gross and grimy as far as germs. So there's a possible item for you to attach to your keychain. Honestly, when it comes to this tool, I'm like fine with it, but it just seems like something extra to have on my keychain. Whereas the other tools I'll generally use that I've carried, whereas this one, you know, I find a way to open a door with my foot or, you know, my elbow, my wrist without having to touch the handle if I want to do that. So if this works for you, awesome. But for me, it's just extra, it takes up extra space, a little extra weight that I don't need. All right, I picked this one up at Walmart. This is called the Key Light, and obviously you can see I didn't get it cut as a key yet, but the reason I got it is because it has this built-in little light here, which is nice when you, you know, you come home and sometimes you gotta have one hand shining a flashlight and the other hand to try to get the key, but this is all built in one, so as you shine it, you know, you can put the key in to unlock your door. So I think it ran me like maybe eight bucks over at Walmart, but they come in a couple different colors. This one gave me the blue light. I think they have a red one as well. But uh, yeah, simple product and give you a little bit extra illumination. I'm going to be doing a separate video on keychain lights that I like and that I recommend. So this one I may roll into that video as well, but wanted to show you this option. All right, just a few more items here. This is from uh, Rovivon, I think is how you pronounce it. And it's a multi-tool keychain carabiner with the blade built in. So you got a bottle opener there. You do have a wrench that I ran the uh, little lanyard through. You can use this, obviously, to uh, use as a bottle opener as well. You got a little flat um, flathead screwdriver there, and then the blade as well. So when I press down now and push, it's not going anywhere, but when I loosen this a little bit, press down and now I can put out the utility blade. So I EDC this when I wanna go super light with my EDC. And when you crank that down, again, it won't slide out. So it's, uh, it's safe. Um, does come in a couple different options. They got like titanium. I believe it's called the Valor. And I've seen it from, you know, like say 30, up upwards from 30 bucks up to maybe 50 bucks, depending on if you get the titanium or which one you pick up. But simple tool, really lightweight and kind of classy looking. I think that's a, a cool little EDC item. And you could just use this to put your split ring there and carry a bunch of keys on it. So it could be like your main tool and then your keys hanging off of it. Okay, this is the Swiss Army. I believe this is the classic SD. There's like 10 million different Swiss Army Victorinox knives out there. This one comes with the blade, the file. You can use that as like a um, flathead screwdriver and some scissors. You do have some tweezers and a toothpick as well. And then your little split ring here to uh, attach to your keychain. The great thing about these is, A, they're super compact and lightweight. They don't cost a lot. And then, you know, when you take out a little Swiss Army knife to like cut open a box, generally people don't freak out like it is. They might when you take out a full-size knife. So... I have this one, and then let me just put this down. I picked this one up, which is basically just a knockoff of that from Lowe's, and this one cost me like six bucks. The quality is not gonna be as good as a full-fledged Victorinox, but maybe you start here and then work up to the uh, Victorinox if you wanna invest the money in the future. All right, final two items, and I'll show you the bonus item. This I actually got from Olight, but I think they just found a company that made these carabiners, but the thing that's cool about it is when you press this, you actually put your split ring down here. You can take the split ring off, which I like. You do have like a glass breaker there. Obviously, you could use that to like open up a um, open up uh, a bottle. Same thing as this down here. Got a little screwdriver, Phillips head screwdriver. And then the win of this one is that you have a blade in it. So, you know, if you can carry a blade where you're going in general, that's just a tiny little compact, compact blade to do some uh, to do some cutting. So yeah, that's kind of a cool item. Again, this one was branded by Olight, but they are available out there um, just kind of generically. Price point for this one is usually less than 10 bucks. This is the CRKT Viva. Basically, you're gonna take this section and put it like over your belt or over your belt loop. And then you've got your wrench here, your little pl your little pry. You can also use this as a flathead screwdriver as long as the screw head is not too, uh, too small. And then uh, put your keys in here through a split ring. You got a little bottle opener here. Just kind of a simple, lightweight tool. And the thing I like about it is that you can just, like I said, slide this over your belt, over your belt loop. There's no, you know, mechanisms that might, you know, break for break on you like a carabiner or something like that. So CRKT Viva, about 10 bucks. Now, just by the nature of the color, this thing keeps washing out the camera, but this is the Rescue Me. And I think everybody should have one of these in your car or on your keychain. Obviously, you can see you can throw it on a keychain here. You can also hang it with like a small zip tie they often include, um, like on your rear view mirror or somewhere in your car where you can have access to it. Basically two very simple tools here. You pull this off and now you've got a belt cutter in there and that thing is really sharp. It does work. I have tested these out before. So that's one thing. And then you have your glass punch there. So you're gonna basically press against the glass and this thing will click and punch through the glass. So for about 10 or 11 bucks, you can pick these up. They do come in a variety of different colors. I have links down below to them on Amazon. You can get them in two packs. 
This is a great simple item that again I think everybody should have just to uh, to keep yourself keep yourself safe. I've got one of these. They actually have a visor mount as well, so you can mount it on your visor if you want to do that. All right, let's wrap it up here. This is 25 different keychain tools. I want to hear from you guys. Which ones do you like? Which ones have you tried and tested? And they're definitely good products. Or maybe additional ones that I haven't mentioned here. Uh, leave a comment down below in the uh, in the comment section. I'd love to uh, to see what else you like. And especially if you have links to reviews or links to where I can pick up the other items you want to share with me, that'd be awesome as well. Thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.